Hey guys, happy Friday to all of you who are on the stream and in the panel. I guess we're, we're a panel, right? Um, uh, how are you guys uh, this evening? Um, I'm located in New Jersey, as maybe some of you guys know. And so we were just battered by a snowstorm early in a week mm. and uh, and doing a lot of shoveling. At least the last couple of days, I've, I've taken off the shoveling. Uh, Mrs. Legs was shoveling today. She lost the shovel. Um, so she was out there <laughs> uh, today with the kids while I was uh, working. But uh, it looks like we might get another round of snow on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, three to six inches. Not looking forward to that. Anyway, <laughs> wanted to get that out of the way. Let's 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 uh, go around the horn here, um, guys. How you doing? And uh, let's uh, let's talk about what we have on wrist. Uh, people in the chat, let us know what you have on wrist too. Um, okay, <laughs> you know I just caught that. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll start with Collins because Collins is the more most mellow out of all of us today. Um, <laughs> Colin, how are you, man? And and what do you have on rest, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. Uh, I got uh, the new Navi. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Awesome. So the 806 re-edition. Yeah. Nice. That is just great, man. You know, I saw one of those in person over a year ago, a little over a year ago, mm -hmm. at the uh, at a Brightly and AD in um in World Trade Center and in, in the Oculus, uh, Oculus is that what it's called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have a bunch of uh, ADs there, a few ADs actually. And um, I saw it. And and you know the great thing about the nav so like I I I have always had in the back of my mind that you know a nav timer would be a, a great piece in my collection. I love the nav timer, and I thought because of the size of the Brightlings um, that like anything above a forty one would be just way too big. So I was mm -hmm. focused on the 41, but I got oh. to try on a 43 and a 45 and I was totally, it's totally could bad. pull them off. Yeah. yeah. Totally could pull you, them could, off. you could do it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a 41. So, right. um, but I, yeah, I agree. The 43s, they're fine, honestly, yeah. For, yeah. for most people. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, exactly. Uh, Joe, how are you? Hey, sir. TGIF. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're in the, uh, Silverstein, today excellent watch yeah very cool love it That's i'm in my man how are you good rob how are you doing i'm wearing uh, the bulgari today excellent excellent and uh i still can't seem to get this off the wrist i mean uh, the zin a57 utc um Sweet. really really enjoying the wrist although something new came in the mail today um <laughs> But uh, maybe we'll touch on that in a in a little bit. Uh, let's say the, hello to some of the guys on the chat. Mountain Santa Time, hey there, how are you? He was uh, first up. Thomas Burnett, what's up, Thomas? How you doing? Hey Jeff, what's going on? Oil money, yes, oil money's here, mm -hmm. stirring it up. I'm sure. Milo, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Peter C, hello, sir. Joseph's in the house. Um, let's see. Yep, Ep is here. Kevin, hello. Um, Bobby, how you doing, sir? Chaz from the Berg. You know, I think didn't we didn't it come up uh, recently? Like where what Berg? Yeah, and I, and I think I think I figured it out. I think uh, he's got a Tennessee. Yeah, there, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's uh, he lives uh, outside of Memphis or outside of Nashville. I don't know. I don't oh, know. is that Gatlinburg? No, no, not Gatlinburg. Okay. That's uh, that's Eastern Tennessee, right? Yeah, you know, I've been to I've been to Gatlinburg. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so you guys are familiar. Do you guys remember the Dukes of Hazard? Yes. Yeah. You remember that TV show? So. Yeah. So um, the guy, the, the mechanic, what it, it wasn't, you know, Roscoe was a, was a, was a cop. Boss Hog was a cop. There was, if anybody in the chat remembers, who was like the, 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 garage, the guy who owned the garage? I forget his name. Anyway, that guy, <laughs> he had a garage in Glattenburg and it was like the, the, uh, like a car garage. Uh, and uh, Cooter? Yeah. Cooter, Cooter. Yeah. Would it could have been Cooter? It could have been Cooter. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy Cooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Scott. Um, and he and he had like a a, a the, the actual guy, not Cooter himself, but the actual guy had a 
a garage. I, I don't know if he fixed cars, but I mean, he and it was you know Dukes of Hazard. All the memorabilia was out there. Um, here we go. Chaz is. Yeah. I grew up in. I grew up near uh, Gatlinburg in the Lawrenceburg. Oh, so now that, we know. What now street? Know. What street do you live on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a that's a strong burg area of the country right there. Anyway, um, on a side note, um, on my way from Knoxville to Gatlinburg, stopped at Dollywood. So, and that is Dolly cool. Parton's little. You know, that's, <laughs> her, right. that's her, yeah. wor- her world. Yeah, Dolly. Yeah, that's 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 her world. Yeah. Um, okay, old guys. All right, thanks, Daniel. <laughs> you know. All right, while you're while you're watching uh, Dawson's Creek, we were uh, we were reminiscing about <laughs> we were reminiscing about the good old days oh, when TV was TV. Girl fan, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gil, Gilmore girl here. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> oh man. Hey there, Nefarian. How you doing? And Clayton, what's up, man? Sanjay, how are you? So, uh, guys, let us know what you're wearing on wrist. Uh, we'd love to, to hear what you're saying. And if you have any um, questions or topics, you know, I had a, somebody who I thought was going to come on the show uh, tonight. Is it really a show? The stream. And um, so this person wasn't able to, uh, seems like it was unable to, to make it. Um, so we're going to kind of wing it a, a little bit here. Um, now, um, did we find out what Joe and Amon are wearing? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We did? Did I miss <laughs> that? Yeah, you, you totally missed it. <laughs> You're watching like, the chat. I like zoned I, out. I, I will like, smoke whatever Colin's smoking. Colin has yeah. a seizure yeah. on some of that. screen here. Yeah. <laughs> Clean okay. wearing. Carry on. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clayton's wearing the uh, the Black Bay 58. Epp is wearing the Super Ocean 57. Very nice. Um, Scott's wearing a Citizen Coke Bezel Diver. Mm-hmm. Alex is Anderdane, Anderdane Model 1. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, very nice. Go. That that was uh, in, in the running for a very long time uh, for as a, as a group watch. Um, mm-hmm. still, still, still might pick it up, you know, one day. Who knows? Um, before these prices keep on going up and up and up. Um, and you can't afford anything nice anymore. Modded SKX for Jordan. Nice. Uh, Milgauss. Very nice. Yeah. Um, Colin's mentioning that he's very tired today. Pretty tired today. Okay. I'm tired Colin. and my, my, my brain was working overtime today. So yeah. mm-hmm. not Chris used Ross. to like using my brain so much anymore. Yeah, well, speaking speaking of tired and and my brain not working, uh, the other day I had an unboxing and and there was a stove a pro diver, but I kept on saying provider mm. um, in the video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. What what are you gonna do? Um, so anyway, so I want to bring up a, a a watch that I picked up for review purposes uh, for the for the channel, and uh, it seems to have struck a nerve uh with with some people um well the watches from um long island watch um mark's collection seems to be kind of like more divisive in ways that that i never really really anticipated um but uh so i got the let me go full screen here uh so (laughs) people could see it i got the isl uh 38 in blue um now um, it's uh, very uh, reminiscent, uh, I guess, of a date just, and I guess maybe that's what Mark was going for. Um, it's called the Islander Just. Somebody came up with with that name, um, and so um, man got got a lot of response, a lot of, a lot of positive feedback so far from my unboxing video, and and some negative uh, feedback. And um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, we we I think we talked a little bit about this with some of the SKX mods that he's selling. Um, but, uh, you know, he keeps on putting these things out and they keep on selling, you know what I mean? So there obviously is a market for them. Uh, what say you guys? What do you what do you guys think about this one in particular? You know, I, and I'm looking at Colin to start it off because um, <laughs> he has he has a date. He's the, he's, the, he's the only one in the group that has yeah. a Rolex Datejust, you know, uh, yeah. 41. You know, does this make it... Yeah. Do you feel like oh that oh you could do you know you can pick this up? Colin, can you put like. up Daniel's comment? Can you put up Daniel's? <laughs> comment? I'm afraid to. 
Uh, <laughs> is it this one or is there another yeah. one? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Col- Colin is not impressed. You're correct, Daniel. Um, yeah. But should he be I, impressed? I, I mean, it's it's not. Uh, it's an affordable. It's it's a three hundred and fifty dollar watch. Should you have to be impressed by that? No, no, I guess I, I really have nothing to say. Like uh, I, I hate it more than anything I've ever hated. Maybe so. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> you, you, you had a lot to say just in a very short. Sense. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure I hate some things more, but you, you hate uh, it more than the maple leaves. Um, well. <laughs> Well, let, let's, let's just say that. Colin's daughter just had a wonderful birthday, and that right. watch made her cry. You made yeah. her cry. <laughs> I know. She was like, Daddy, put that picture away. It's my birthday. <laughs> um, don't even wear it in good health. No, I don't. I. It's it's just a cheap, cheap ripoff, and it looks ugly. It Like, it's just all done wrong. I just don't like it. It's not even a good homage. It's it's to me, you know, or homage. I don't know how to say it. How people say it's it. a copy, right? I mean, it, yeah. it's um, but it's a bad copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's you mean the proportions and the bezel the size and all those proportions and the yeah. indices and it's like it looks like it's like a Seiko modded to a DHS, which it pretty much is. But uh, yeah, I don't like it. Mm. I, I, I've said this before and uh, you know, with, with these kind of smaller companies, like in the scheme of things, Long Island watch is a small company and Mm. Mark has put himself out there on the internet and uh, I'm from Long Island and he seems like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And so I, I hate to, go negative but the the claim to fame for what he's doing seems to be value like yeah. uh mm-hmm. like giving a lot of specifications for the value yeah and i and i just think when you have a total lack of originality uh that has to count against you on value right there's mm-hmm. a value to creativity there's a value to originality so when we're making these lists of like islander watch versus seiko or islander watch versus citizen yeah. And you go, okay, uh, you know, nine for build quality versus eight for build quality, uh, you know, mm-hmm. eight for bracelet versus seven for bracelet. I think there's got to, at the end, there's got to be a eight for originality versus zero for originality when you tally up the value proposition. It's a and, very good point. And, uh, you know, he, he, I, I think sometimes he, he, um, goes more original. So, like, when you take the, SKX like Islander watch when it was black with white indices it looked too much like an SKX to me it was straight it looked like a straight copy and I, mm-hmm. I think you have to dock it for originality but then when he goes fully loom dial with black indices now it's, it looks much more individual to me mm-hmm. um, so I feel like there's some Islander watches where he goes far enough away from an established look where it's more of it's, it's living its own life a little bit but this would be an example of an Islander watch where I feel like he didn't make any effort to do yeah. something a little different. He mm-hmm. just, mm-hmm. just, just copied it. So to me, it's not that it's a cheap watch because there, I would rather have a, um, you know, any number of $300 uh, watches from mainstream brands like Seiko or from off brands like Zelos. But it's the fact that, uh, so, so it's not the price. There, I, I enjoy a lot of watches at that price point. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Mark makes any bones about mm-hmm. it. I mean, he's not saying that. Um, I mean, I think he's really pretty transparent. He's not saying that this is like um, the um, an homage to any of this. I think he knows what he's making, and I think his client base knows what he's making. I think, mm-hmm. I think he filled a void early on, right? You had these SKX, you had these people who were fanatical about the SKX, but they just wished there was something a little bit different about it. Uh, A slight improvement here, slight improvement there. The only other option was if they wanted to keep that SKX was to monitor themselves, spend the money on the parts, have them come in from wherever they come in, Singapore, whatever they come in, Mm -hmm. and then do it themselves if they had 
the gumption to do it, if they wanted to do it, if they had the mm -hmm. patience to do it. Not everybody wanted to do it. So your choice was to go send it off and get modded by somebody and pay a lot of money. Or, you know, he filled in that void. He, he basically gave people what they want. Um, yeah. Probably pre modded, yeah. pre pre mm -hmm. yeah, uh, less than what they would have paid if they had modded, and everybody knew what the deal was. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, there's no originality in it, but then he never even marketed it as this is an original design, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, the people who are in the market for this, they get it. They get yeah, it. I, I, Rob, so I 100% agree with what you just said, and it's not a uh, what I said is not a criticism mm -hmm. of him or anybody who wants it. Um, uh, but I, I, I'm just saying why I don't, wouldn't want yeah. it. Right. Yeah, and, that's, and it's mm -hmm. fair. Cause I, I much rather have an SKX with hard Lex and a non-hacking movement than his first out of the gate Islander watch with Sapphire and, and, and a, and a hacking movement. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, but, and I'm, but, and I'm but, with you, but for the people who want that and understand the proposition makes, makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Clayton saying, I think he started as a retailer who was being proactive with replacing a number one seller in the SKX. Now with some original designs would be cool. Yeah. yeah um, yeah, you guys describe Bobby, I mean, you guys described it way better than I did though. The reasons why, uh, I'm obviously not the target audience for this type of watch. So, you know, yeah. that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dan Daniels, uh, how does this make you want to DJ? Mm, that's um, a good question. More or less. Look, um, I've already made my, my decision maybe a few weeks ago, maybe more than that, that I'm not going to pursue the the day just anytime, anytime soon. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. far more, I go through these phases and, and I unfortunately oh. take you guys hostage in that journey. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, it's but I'm, I'm 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 past that. Yeah, because I mean I know you guys you guys understand the insanity, so I, I I'm I'm a little bit past that now. Um, and uh, and and looking in, in a different direction. Yeah. Um, well, real yeah. quick, so I I think uh, you know most of us would agree that the, uh, this particular Islander watch is in a different class than uh than a fake, right? Like than a watch mm -hmm. that says mm -hmm. Rolex mm -hmm. on it, right? So it's. Mm -hmm. it's much more except it's at least you know most of us would uh say that this watch might have a place for someone who understands what it is differently than a total fake that says rolex on it but colin's point's really interesting that they copied it in a way that he thinks is ugly right so yeah. mm -hmm. if they yeah. had made a if 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 mark had because we know that you know it's being made in asia let's say and if it was made in a factory where you know where they're doing a basically a one-to-one Date just okay, Ooh. just right, but with the Islander logo, Colin, instead of a Rolex logo. So it's not, it's not, me, it's not trying to be a counterfeit, yeah. but it's a much closer to Rolex execution uh, yeah. aesthetically. Yeah. Would that would that be better or worse, mm. or they're just both so bad to you that it? I, I would still hate it. I would still hate it, but at least I could understand why someone would want it. I guess. Because mm -hmm. to you know, like mm -hmm. I, I, I can understand why certain people, if they can't afford the real thing, they want something that looks like it, and that's perfectly fine. But it's not the way he did it. It's not even a good looking watch, in my opinion. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, if yeah. if you want to buy a fake, buy a fake. Don't tell anyone. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um, you know, do what you want to do. But um, yeah, it's I don't know. He could have did a nicer job. Again, I don't even want to talk about it because I, I I don't even look at this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not the guy to ask. Yeah. You know, um, Joseph at Philly Watch Fan, uh, he he mentions basically a Steinhardt, and so I think Colin's reaction because the day just is so near and dear to him, it actually reminds me of Rob's um, mm. reaction to Steinhardt's, uh, snowflake copy a couple mm. of months ago. Uh, yeah, you were really <laughs> PO'd, uh, at them for doing that one and, and very understandable too. Cause they, I mean, they were really doing That's a, a hack job at, at copying the old, uh, Tudor snowflake. So this, right. this kind of brings back shades of that. That's yeah, true. Way, yeah. Way to bring that up, Joe. Um, Joe, Joe's <laughs> partially putting, it seems like he's putting his professional hat on a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. Doing, <laughs> he's doing S for free a little bit. 
there. <laughs> no copay. Group therapy. You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Yeah, our, our time is saying is, well, it's a SARB copy to be clear, that model has just has a fluted bezel. And I look, I think I think um, Mark's uh, also target was was, uh, you know, to fill the void in uh, from the SARB because the SARB is a, a popular model, even though it looks closer to a JHS than a, than a SARB. So maybe that same audience, um, you know, yeah, hey, I look, at least he. At least he stepped it up. He, I mean, like, you know, he went, you know, one pass. I mean, he can't really tell here, but I mean, he he uh th there's no there's no uh there's no um engraving or design but he went i don't even know why i'm showing it but um he went miota nine yeah, the nine nine thousand fifteen is uh he mm -hmm. stepped it up from the nh 35 at yeah. least 36 okay. uh made it a thinner thinner watch mm -hmm. um so yeah i mean it's not bad it's it not doesn't bad. look that much like a sarb no uh, no it doesn't the, the indices hands everything i mean uh, you know, it's it's obviously got the day trust thing going on, right? But yeah. it's not other than the bezel and the and all those things. It's not like it looks like a SARP. No, 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 it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. But I think we, what I think yeah, I heard him mention, um, and and some other people feel that that he's trying to fill in the void for the SARP because the SARP mm. was such a popular model now discontinued and mm. the prices are going through the roof. Mm. That people were looking for a classy. Um, uh dressy watch in that 350 300 350 dollar range mm. so and it's not classy though like that is that's the, a again, brutal it's a brutal <laughs> dress watch like it's uh, look again that, that you know that's no, your not, opinion you know no but, not br not brutal in in it's brutal in design like it's i'm not saying it's well i am saying that but <laughs> the design of it it's like a rugged looking dress watch to me Right, you know? and, and and it is. Um, yeah, Kelvin, it's on the way. It's on the way. Um, yeah, we may have to have a group camera <laughs> instead of a group watch. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, okay, let's see here. Anyway, so Colin might. Yeah, I mean, he, I don't he does, care that much, honestly. You know, the, I like uh, the Miota. A lot of people seem to have the impression that the Miota is not as good as a, a Seiko movement, but I, I think you're right that it's a step above and that's an interesting topic unto itself. You know, they're, like you said, they're thinner, mm -hmm. uh, higher, very, higher beat rate. Very, very uh, good. I think mm -hmm. they're very good. I'd like, yeah. I'd like to see more of them. I kind of wish my Sartori Billard was coming with a Miota. Uh, well, you, you, you are seeing more hmm. of Miotas in, in micros, especially in these since days. Joe made me think this uh, STP is <laughs> no, be, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That STP, it's, okay. it, it's it's good. It's chronometer great. It's Fingers good. are are crossed <laughs> that I get a good one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, funny. yeah. So so you're gonna see my chat fingers, uh, Calvin, more so. Um, but I, I I promise I'll keep up the the lotion protocol. That's true. My my. Uh, you can, oh, look, yeah. you can see every flaw <laughs> in Man. my 47 year old fingernails there. <laughs> yeah. No, no manicures here, and you can, you can tell. Uh, <laughs> 9015 compares favorably with the basic idea. I've heard mm -hmm. that as well. I, I am no expert, but I've heard that as well. And, you, and, and I, as I was saying before, you are seeing more I, well i think i'm seeing and, and i believe i'm seeing it correctly that you're seeing more micros um go with the miota um uh, because um you know maybe the well the eta we know is very hard to get salita maybe a little bit more in the pricey range and uh, people are kind of like spent and tired of the nh 35 and 36 they want to see something you know maybe a little more robust and uh and so you are seeing a lot of miota 9015s out there so um good good on them good on them for 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 finding a, a movement um these 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 brands finding a, a different movement to to work with um let's see here anything else going on so you know so so let's move on okay let's move on uh <laughs> from from this topic um i'll be doing a review on uh, on the uh, Islander soon. Um, and as you guys can tell, I'm generally more, po I'm a little bit more positive about this watch than, mm -hmm. than, than some of you guys, uh, just because I just, uh, I just am. Um, and so be it. But so, so Joe, tell us, sure. 
tell us what's going on. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I guess since we were playing that game on Tuesday of shopping for, for our friends here, I sort of did the typical husband trick where when I shop for you, I'm really shopping for me. Mm. <laughs> you know, kind of like buy, <laughs> buying your wife a toolbox for her birthday. <laughs> right. um, so I told I told Marcus, hey, Marcus, I have no idea, you know, what to get you because you know exactly what you want. Um, and so shopping for you is impossible. Leave that to his um, significant other. Right. Um, and, uh, but I, I just, I threw something out there. I was like, hey, why don't, you try this because you like um oh sorry i don't know if my shared screen's working oh no, part i don't see it that, oh yeah then let me, that's it yep there you go there it is i was oh, looking up go. i was looking it yeah. up at the same time you you were throwing it oh, oh thanks thanks i was like yeah well, i just threw something out there i was like hey yeah. uh ludwig oxlin you know uh respect for that guy so uh try this you can go fly over to switzerland um and build one yourself since he's done that before um and so one thing led to another and I was like snooping around the internet for it. And I saw this thing up for sale and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and so in the past couple of days, I kind of emailed back and forth with the, with the dealer selling it and uh, offered up a couple, a couple of watches that are relatively near and dear, but not getting any risk time uh, as they should. And so we kind of worked, worked on a deal and uh and yeah gonna gonna get it hopefully get an oxen jr <laughs> if, if they don't back okay. out. yeah now can you um describe i mean i don't know if some of the guys here on the chat were i don't know if they were on the tuesday almonds tuesday chat but can you put that do you mind putting that back up again there joe oh, um yeah sorry because um it, there's a moon phase right uh, yeah. on this and it's a very very interesting uh, moon phase, and and I just wanted you to describe it to um, to some of us. Uh, you know what's going on here, because this dial oh. has got something going on here for sure. Yeah, yeah, and and thanks to Alex. Um, yeah, it's a funky moon phase. So Oxlin built this um, maybe like a decade, decade and a half ago, maybe longer mm -hmm. than that. But he he uses a simple 28, 20, uh, 24 base, right? And he crafted five additional parts to the watch to actually have uh, a moon phase that is accurate to over 3,400 years, one day in 3,400 <laughs> years. So more accurate than your typical, you know, one day in 122 um, moon phase. Yeah. And the, the nice thing about what I, what I like about his moon faces too, are that, um, you know, in a typical moon phase, you have like uh, two moon faces on the disc that mm. rotate around. So it's like, it does a 360 every, um, you know, 14 days or yeah. half of 29.5 his on his disc uh, there's a there's a full moon on one side and a new moon on the other and it actually yeah. spins uh twice as fast so it's it's a, even a little more dynamic day to day than a typical moon phase so it, yeah. it's kind of like a a fun thing you know oxlin's a a cool um uh, kind of engineering brain got like a phd and like uh, mm. astronomy or astrophysics or something so he's he's a cool guy and um you know, kind of getting in at the at a pre-owned price for one of his pieces wasn't something that I would expect to do. There's stuff on Chrono 24, but all of these things are like, you know, you see them and you might not like them because the people who initially bought them kind of customized it themselves. So you're kind of buying into someone else's taste, but this one just popped up and it was, it was kind of to my taste. Um, and so I, I just went out for it. Joe, uh, qu question. Um... What's this oil money? <laughs> Oxen guy, Toyota Prius. Oil money. All right. Yeah. All right. Oil money. So the the red dot here is the date, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. like it's, it's like the second of the month. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to count them. And then the um, and then the, but I'm sure you get used to the. Yeah, yeah. where they are compared to the dashes and stuff, right? Because it's like mm -hmm. the dashes. Yeah. Look like the dashes are at every five days. Every five, yeah. yeah. And then the that the moon itself is. Um, is is turning right yep. is that what it is so you, yep. you would see the moon in a different place um yeah. and so i i've played around if you if you guys haven't seen the oxen junior uh site you can you, there's, you can customize how you want yours to look when you make it 
in and, so yeah, many ways too. so many ways like and, like countless ways and I, and i've spent some time in there joe i know you spent a lot of, uh some time yeah. there too mm -hmm. i gotta say this is an awesome one like i, I agree I, my yeah. attempts at making one that i like yeah i don't think i've come up with one that i like uh as much too. As one. my <laughs> line never mine never looked this good yeah, yeah. this looks amazing yeah. <clears throat> and and so which materials are these do you know which finishes they chose for the like the because there's a lot of texture in that base dial right that, that we can yeah. see here what is yeah. that I, I don't um I don't know what they use for their uh blanks for their yeah. dial blanks, but they they do all sorts of funky stuff like burnishing like this one yeah. looks or even patina and uh frankly rusting them on some of their yeah. uh watches as well. So I, I'm I'm not sure I could probably yeah. write to the company and they would and tell the case me. is titanium looks like, right? Yeah, that's a that's tie five, and it's it's darkened. It looks like an older titanium watch. So it's, yeah, I'll see it when I get the papers. It's probably been around for a while. <laughs> looks really cool. Is yeah. that the uh, forty two or the thirty nine? That's a forty two. Yeah, bigger than I thought I'd get, but right. But there's no lugs to it. I mean, like short I lugs. mean, it's, yeah, short yeah. lugs. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I believe it might be German silver, but they put some at least at least some of them are yeah it depends what color you get there's like german silver brass uh i actually don't see that version on the website right now so maybe it's like a discontinued yeah i mean uh, uh Oxlane does this uh you said it's only he only has how many pieces to make it a moon phase but it's the same thing with his with his other complications he he manages to build on this base and make all these complications with very few additional parts. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. You know what I like? I like it. Congratulations. You know what I like about it? It, it, it looks like, like an Aboriginal piece of art. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's something. <laughs> and I mean that in the most like, you know, awesome, positive way. I mean, like it just looks really, really cool. Like it's something that should be hanging on a wall, you know, um, mm. very, very interesting. And, and, and Joe, you, um, never cease to amaze us with your with your uh, exquisite uh, taste i love uh, seeing oh, joe's geez. collection <laughs> evolving in yeah. front of us right I absolutely mean, uh, the uh um just in the past year so yeah. really freaking I, sweet i feel like he's really starting to go after what he actually likes yeah you know like i'm not sure if you were doing that totally before either that or your tastes are just evolving i don't know well, you know, f five years from now, it's going to be all Rolex. <laughs> Burn it down. <laughs> Burn it down. <laughs> Real sports Rolex. <laughs> yeah. We'll be making uh, videos with uh, Archie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, you'll be an Archie yeah. stream. Once, once Archie <laughs> fires the four guys that just replaced his previous four guys, Joe will be in the, the next wave. Yeah. I, I agree, Chaz. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like a, that's the best way to put it. Joe's watch selections make me want to be a better man. It, it totally it's does. True. For everybody. It really does. Yeah. Don't tell my wife that might be the romant the most romantic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Joe, if we if we take the watch you're wearing right now, the Kodoka yeah. two, mm -hmm. this incoming, uh, right? Yeah, that, that's an amazing it's, three. That's an amazing, amazing three. Yeah, yeah. And then you say amazing. Yeah, I say toxic. <laughs> no, no, incredible. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're buying this one pretty well. Like you're not buying this brand new. Your Silverstein has gone through the roof from yep. where you bought it. Uh, the Kadoka, I think, Kodoka's holds got up great, well. Great value. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, besides oil money, almost anybody and, would look at that and say solid. <laughs> and <laughs> And he's getting a really cool RGM too, right? Mm. Oh, wait! I thought that was, are, is. Are you getting? Is this the one we were talking about for your wife, or are you getting one for you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There, there's one. There's one for my wife. Uh, from from those um, from the English? Struthers over in England. I, yeah. I'm having a dementia moment here. So the RGM yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah RGM oh. for me. Unless his awesome. watches. Yeah, and that RGM yeah. is so cool. Honestly, I I, I really like it. That it's, is going to be yeah sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Orange Hand says he had super chat if Joe went on Archie's show. Archie gets 
big time super chats every once in a while i check in see yeah. what's going on there there's always like a hundred aussie super chat up top oh, I, and, I went i went on there today and bear gave him two dollars canadian so, that's all he yeah, gives it's... ever yeah <laughs> bear's cheap but, but if you watch archie's stream for 10 minutes you, you'll see a bunch of money flowing in good, good for, good for well archie. because they won't they won't put anything up on the screen unless it's a super chat hmm. like uh, that's he, that's his instruction a lot of money Nice. Oh yeah, he cleans nice. up. Yeah. Does, uh, oil does oil money actually look at watches or just sales numbers? That's what we need. Oh. Somebody to bring it to oil money. Yeah. 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 You take that. Oil money take shots at us the whole time. Somebody has got to bring it. Take it to uh, oil money. Joe is a herd of one. Joe, yeah. Joe Pete. Yeah. <laughs> hey, big wrist. How you doing? And Jeffrey just opened up a new uh, G Shock Casio. I feel like such a loser. Ah, uh, no, don't. Oh Jeff, no, 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 no. Jeff, yeah, like Jeff you, you got you got a collection. Don't worry, you got a really good good collection there. I just uh, sold two of them. Hey, <laughs> Clive, how you doing? You sold. Um, so you you you're actually um, selling some watches there, uh, Colin. I'm selling I mean, like I'm selling a bunch of my G Shocks so, if I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, I got too many of them, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way. That's the way I was feeling, uh, too, um, and I sold a, a few off. Um, Before you sell them, you should feature them on both of your Instagrams, Colin. You know, I think I've only I, seen them on one. Of your I only account. have one. Uh, all right, we're still doing that, huh? All right. Yeah. <laughs> but Joe, Daniel, Daniel wants to know. Uh, I'll save you a little bit there, Colin. Uh, what are you flipping for this new piece? Ah, uh, uh, I mean, you don't uh, have to share if you don't want to. No, um, yeah, no, no, no. I feel so. I feel so bad that um, that GP of Amins that I really like um, rescued it yeah. just to throw it overboard. I know, and and uh, <laughs> this Longines chronograph that I had, that freaking GP. Um, I hope you. I hope you didn't take too much of a hit on the GP from what uh, from what I no, sold no. it to you for. I, I think I think it was exactly valued at what you were okay. expecting. All right, great. Mm -hmm. great, great. Um, but uh, but I got a, I got a Facebook message with pictures today from uh, HD straps. He's he's sending me a strap because I ordered one for the GP. So that's oh. but oh. the GP is sitting in FedEx right now. <laughs> <laughs> I use it for something else. <laughs> that's so funny. Clive Joe already has a, a Kadoki uh, too. He's he's much he's a just a better man than us. Yeah, way ahead. He walks the talk. <laughs> Thomas, thank you, Thomas. Super chatting for you to keep it as it is, guys. Well, we're, we're, we're trying. We're trying to keep it as it is. Uh, right here. Um, no, that's Joe. Okay, sorry, Joe. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, you know, I, I had the, um, the same um, reaction. Uh, oh, no, not um, Amis GP. I almost like was going to say, okay, well, let me... Can I, I'll just buy it. I'll just buy it now. You know what I mean? Like, like I was like really, I was actually for like about 10 minutes like thinking about it, you know? Yeah. We're, we're a <laughs> sentimental group here. Oh, that's so yeah. Funny. I think uh, the, the, the quick mental calculus was that, you know, one of these days we're going to make the group watch happen. So I was like, okay, you know, that, that was, that kind of let me feel liberated to let it go. Maybe, maybe Oxen Jr. would be a good group. Group watch. Ooh, I don't <laughs> know if Mark too, too expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much. much. <laughs> we we want a we want a low priced group watch when we get oh, to it. Yeah. it oh. How it about the, the more, Islander the uh, thirty eight? Uh, oh, that could be the yeah. the, group. the the more time yeah. we do this, the more the higher the budget we can do for the group watch. Are you guys trying to get me out of the group? Is that, is that what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys? Chaz from the Berg brought the Moser Apple Watch. What do you guys think of the Moser, the new, <laughs> the newest one? It's uh, it's basically the ultimate troll watch, right? It's like, and it's it's also like the watch where you can just say, "I have fu money, I'm mm -hmm. gonna buy a watch for a joke," and you know, every single time someone, well, people won't even mention it because they'll just think it's an Apple Watch, right? Yeah. But uh, no, it's it's basically it's a yeah. Someone just mentioned it's it's a 
gimmick. Uh, I per don't particularly like it. Uh, I really do wish that they would have geared it somehow so that the wheel at the bottom actually spun at the rate of a normal loading screen. You know, it's I think it's about once mm -hmm. every two, once every half a second or so. Because right now it just goes so slow, yeah. and it's like uh, that's not really exciting. And if it went fast, it would make the owners really anxious. Which would be <laughs> awesome because they deserve to be anxious after dropping that much money on that watch. Yeah, I have Fair. to admit, I, I like the watch until Colin made that comment originally, and then I was like, "Oh, I, I can't, I can't look at it anymore because he's right." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair enough, Bobby. You, you I, got it. I like the original one better. The yeah. from the the first Moser Apple Watch, mm -hmm. and and I like the one that's the minute repeater with no hands. That's that's pretty freaking cool. Just a black, uh, yeah, watch that's off and only tells you the time by chiming and no other <laughs> timekeeping capacity. That's yeah. that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think I'm a, with uh, Joseph here. I'd never buy it, but but I kind of love it. Okay, Jason, well, you just you missed a whole lot, man. You missed a whole <laughs> lot, <laughs> whole lot going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it costs more than two dollars. Yeah. Oh man, it's not where I thought I was gonna go. <laughs> Night, you know. Rob gets the funniest super chats. No, it never fails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, guys, uh, in the chat, if you uh, want us to to talk about anything or brings anything up or ask us any questions, watch related. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> Please put it put it in the chat here. Um, Kelvin has a good quick one. Mm. Okay. I really like it, except for the word Porsche ruins the whole thing. Basically, that's my take. And that's pretty much everyone's take that I've seen. So can you throw it up? I'm not really familiar with this one. No, no problem. But I think uh, Pete really has something really important to say. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Pete. <laughs> Sorry. Pete, that. you didn't buy one of those, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh i'll throw it up guys uh just keep on uh chatting yeah. amongst yourselves New i think Omega it's a, a really cool looking watch honestly mm -hmm. yeah yeah it is it's just why do you have to put porsche there like, is it on the dial it's on the tacky meter mm -hmm. which makes go. it an especially tacky meter <laughs> Yeah. So you're talking like right here. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. not so noticeable. It's not that bad, actually. That's not noticeable. I don't. It's think in it's red, that man. Let me see oh, if I get another on, on the on on the wrist. I can't yeah. unsee it, honestly. You know, for, I think for it tag. looks cool. For tag. <laughs> it's got the Daytona homage uh, bezel. It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a cool good looking, looking watch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, looks cool. I think that the Porsche on the bezel there is not as bad as like the big Ferrari symbol on the dial. That, yeah, you know, with some watches, <laughs> like you know, Panerai and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a, a little more subtle to have text than. Yeah, they could have just put it on the back or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I okay. just hate cross branding where they make it so obvious. Yeah, on the back would be better. Yeah. But I guess in the, the the car companies they won't let them get away mm. with that, right? I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably like the most, probably the subtlest example we could find might be the the uh, the Bentley tag on the on the flank of the case of the Breitling, right? Yeah, yeah. Moser had a had a um, Rolls Royce on the back. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> didn't didn't uh, Bill have that? Bill Sanders. Didn't he have that? He's, he's at least mentioned it. Mentioned right. it. All right. right. Mm. Anyway, what's next? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. agree, Kevin. They they never mm -hmm. really work out. Yeah. Okay. So so Joe's. Did anybody see the new Ball Roadmaster Rescue Chrono? No. I think it looks pretty awesome. All right. Ball. You know what? For for. For a pretty inexpensive brand ball, I actually really do like a lot of their designs. 
Mm-hmm. They're they're one of the few, you know, entry level brands where I'm like a lot of their stuff I kind of dig. Especially with like the tritium tubes or whatever. Yeah. I, I like I like the Cannonball one. That's cool. They have a world timer that looks really good. Yeah, I can't seem to find the right one, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I have, you know, Ball was, you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, uh, they were in my radar. For some reason, I was reading a lot of, or doing a lot of train books with my son and, and they're singing. I've been working, I sing, I've been working on the railroad every time, uh, every nighttime, right? As one of the songs that I have to sing now to him. And um, I always think of Ball. Every time I sing that song, I think of Ball Watches, and uh, <laughs> because of its relationship with the with Ball on the railroad back when he, whenever discovered time keeping on a on a train, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks, Joe. Is um, that it? Joseph will let us know if that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they Look have how a couple cool of that Loomis. Yeah, like, the Loomis. That's what cool. I love. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Is that the rescue one though? That's and does it actually rescue you? Like kind of like the Brightling? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's got a pulsometer. So when you're you know doing CPR with your third hand, you can use the pulsometer. And yeah. 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 Perfect. Yep. Ball has a kind of a date just too. Mm-hmm. They do. do you, oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's weird to say. I watch that. That's true. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a compliment, but the, yeah, it's kind of like a backhanded one. Yeah, the, I think the, uh, that is the tritium in the in the in the, in the seas and the hands. Absolutely. Yeah, they use different tubes for the different colors, and yeah, they look cool. Yeah. And it has a seventy-seven fifty in it. It's part. Of, mm-hmm. Isn't all part of Swatch? I know it's one of those part of uh, one of those conglomerates. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I think it's independent so far as like a, a holding company out of Hong Kong. Okay. Right okay. All right. Oh. I stand corrected. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> not really sure, Kelvin, what you were uh, if we're talking about a Zen or not. I'll be more than happy to talk about Zen. Um, okay. Uh, anything else, guys? <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Did you want to yep. talk about the value proposition of, of mine? Yes. yes. Sure. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, that's yes. right. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. Mm. Oh, go ahead, Colin, please. Well, I guess I just want some feedback from everybody. So I'm considering getting a... Vacheron overseas, blue dial, the 4500V, just time and date. Um, so in in my homeland, uh, Canadian dollars, uh, it's about 30,000 30, out the door, right? Now, I have a blue dial, blue stick dial date just, which I can't really say that I would keep both because they just overlap too much, right? Mm-hmm. So really the conundrum is, is the overseas worth $17,000 more than my date just? It seems like a lot of money. So that's kind of, is it value or not? Gen 3, yes, Gen 3, mm-hmm. brand new. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no? No one? You guys, any, any well, thoughts? Well, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Amin, you're on mute. I'm talking about the one. I think Bobby, you have this one. Uh, Bobby, uh, in the chat. Mm-hmm. If you try to make values like semi-objective, if you try to like break down value into components, then then I would say no. Mm-hmm. You know? But I think you you can't do that. I mean, it's mm-hmm. uh, it's so so you can get thirteen thousand for your date just. Is that what you're saying? Mm, maybe twelve. Okay, Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, 
So I guess it's 18,000, but out the door, it's like 13 brand new. I'm not features. saying you would do this, but if you were to sell the date, just and the mill gauss, then, which, then we're, then, then I've where considered. are you? How far are you? Uh, I'd probably have to pitch in eight grand. <laughs> yeah. Two Rolexes, huh? That's um, what it would probably. Yeah. I'm and always I, trying to drive towards that one watch per brand and. The one mm -hmm. the, and the the one I love the most is the Pepsi, right? Which so, is yeah, that's staying, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. staying. Yeah. So the 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 um the Milgaus and the Datejust to go for the overseas. I think in this in the as far as your whole collection, I think it's worth it. Certainly, if it was an even trade, it would be worth it to have to mm -hmm. put in eight thousand dollars more. That then that's where it's a little harder for me. Yeah, but where I look at where your collection is. You know, I love the new Breitling, love your mm -hmm. Pepsi. If I put those two next to an overseas or I put the two next to a date just and a Milgauss, I, I like the overseas there. Those that that threesome yeah. is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can get behind that. Yeah. I am not trying to be Bruce Williams. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny though. Um uh i i would look in the i i am looking in the used market as well um being in canada there there really isn't as much supply over here and uh if i buy from out of country then i probably get dinged with some good duty and taxes so it really doesn't make it um mm -hmm. uh that much better to buy one used especially right now with the prices they're asking so um, Kevin's got a good suggestion there. Sell both and get the ISL. There you go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Penny, not in, no, she does not. She's uh, really, approve. she's really against this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the fence, honestly. I, I could have it in, it would be about four, four to five months. So then, so then, so then about, so then four or five months after that, when you're tired of the, the VC, right? What? what? <laughs> how, how dare you? Are you, are you going to trade that in and get two other Rolexes? <laughs> probably not. Right. You probably can't. Right. Because, um, the, the drop on the VC will be pretty significant. Like the reason why I say that is because I, I you know, we've talked mm -hmm. uh, you know, for a while now, you know, I know mm -hmm. that you're, you're a Rolex fanboy and I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just, you, you called yourself a Rolex fanboy. So That's you're going to go negative down. at all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to go down to one Rolex. Sorry. This is for Pete. Pete's asking which Breitling I got. That's the 806 re-edition. Mm -hmm. You want to do that again? Show, show everybody. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. That's a, it's got a lot of glare. But uh, it's hard to photograph. Actually, it reminds me of the Moser that I had. But so so going back to what I was saying, so I just yeah. feel like this is just a crush. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, if you can add it, awesome. But I think yeah. you're gonna go back and buy more Rolexes after that, and probably using this as <laughs> as as, as trade collateral. <laughs> Maybe. And if you're fine with that, that's fine. Yeah, it has. Anyway, been I'm going to think you, about it. You have it has been on your radar for a long time. So it's yeah, not, it has, if, if yeah. it's a crush, it's not a new crush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really do like it. It's uh, it's just yeah, I really like my date just too. I think that's the problem. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, could I buy it and not get rid of the date just? Yes, uh, but it's hard for me to justify that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, tying up both that kind of serve the same purpose that that really doesn't work for me. So yeah, Aaron bespoke. Yeah. That's I don't idea. love it that much more than the date just, but uh, except for the fact that it's, it, it's a different brand and, and, and uh, I think brand diversity is not as big a deal to you. Sound, I think so. Maybe it's mm -hmm. not, maybe it's not a big upgrade. Yeah. I got some thinking to do. Yeah. It is a good looking watch, though. I, I got to give you that. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's better in person too. Yeah, 
So uh, Joe's saying as someone with a milli, I would consider flipping it as a package mm -hmm. deal for something bigger. Yes. Yeah. Can't argue uh, too much with that idea. Mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I could definitely see the, the mill house being part of that. I, I just wonder about the date just with you, but I mean like, you know, date just are, are slightly easier to pick up than other sports models. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you need engineer one, want, back, engineer wannabe is asking about the oyster flex Daytona. Um, I am still thinking about it. I'm not sure if my AD is thinking about it for me. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I was kind of told it's going to be a tough year for them with Rolex. Uh, so it's not a sure thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting strategy here by design. Uh, let Amon buy it and then let him sell the VC to you at a loss. Nah, he'll, ne <laughs> he'll never buy that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll over my budget. One. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say, I, 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 for one, hope that you do get it one way or another, because I, I know your, your collection is is fluid, contingent upon you know you trying trying to make sure that you're making good deals, sensible deals, so yeah. that you can, you can keep the transactions flowing, you can keep the turnover going, and you can enjoy these new watches. So having a VC on your wrist. I think mm -hmm. that that experience, I definitely want that for you. And whether or not, you know, a, a year or so down the road, you wind up with the blue date just back on your wrist, you know, that's, you know, whatever. Well, that's the other thing is that I could get another blue date just pretty, yeah. Yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. So, yeah, Pete, I mean, this is not, I don't think it's, we're having a conversation of yeah. what one is better than the other. It's just that mm -hmm. Colin is uh, one of his, his favorite brand is Rolex. So that's well. That's really it's not only that. It's it's the dollar value. I mean, is it worth, you know, a hundred and thirty percent more than a date just? You know, I is VC better? Yeah, no question. Like that dial is immaculate. The finishing is great. The movement is unreal. Um, but uh, <laughs> Jill's. Um, well, so yeah. And the market has put Rolex in the same conversation as VC, whether we like it or not. They're the, you know, the your Pepsi right now is pushing twenty thousand dollar resale. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. more than some VCs, even yeah, it is, even yeah. recent ones. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, again, you can break down reasons why VC is in a different class. I mean, the the real comparison is like. Uh, the VC uh, 58, right? The cheapest uh, fashion mm -hmm. in steel, and it's basically a date just competitor, and it's only a few thousand dollars more. Mm. Um, that's like the apples to apples comparison. And, uh, but yeah, this is like to get that steel sports integrated bracelet uh, where a paddock and an AP just aren't in the cards. And, mm. you know, yeah. Oh. Clive with a zinger in there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I like I like what Daniel says here. If it makes sense, trilogy or longa is just a matter of time for Colin. Maybe. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for talking it out a bit, guys. <laughs> VC movement is so beautiful. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah. And Bobby Reset. has that watch, so he knows. Uh, and he has a lot of high-end pieces, so, um, you know, it's... Uh, Ringing yeah. endorsement on the bracelet uh, <laughs> by Thomas mm -hmm. here, saying it's the most comfortable he's ever tried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin's asking, how about older VCs overseas? I don't like it as much as everybody else, it seems. Uh, like the Gen 2 with, like, the Guilloche dial. I like it but I don't love it. And even those have kind of pushed up. Like those used to be 10 or 12,000 mm -hmm. US and now they're starting to get up higher too. Um, I don't mind that one, but it doesn't like wow me. Hmm. Well, excellent. Well, you yeah. know, it's always um, with any of us here that come on to the stream, whether it's my stream or Amin's stream, it's always a, 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 a funny journey and, and, and so many things mm. change in a matter of days, right? So yeah. Joe 
was uh, was suggesting a watch for 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 uh, for uh, for Marcus, and then like a day later, he's like, "Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually buying that watch now." Um, and that's how quick that's how quick this this um, fascination, this hobby of ours, uh, this addiction that we have is. You know what I mean? We yeah. make these like crazy decisions mm -hmm. so quickly. Some of them, you know, we've been thinking about underneath the surface for a while, but then but then it's funny like what triggers the actual decision. You know, yeah. Um, but everybody here can can relate to that. Um, wait for Bruce Williams for his VC. Give him six months max. Yeah, yeah. I think Bruce get you know he he doesn't sell cheap. He's uh, he's he makes uh, careful decisions with his money too. Yeah. But I I do agree he's going to flip that because uh, he's already alluded to it on his uh, channel. Hmm. Like the dressy look of a date just. Yeah, the date just may be a little more versatile in a dressy situation. I mean, mm -hmm. but I think you can get away with it with the VC. Oh, totally. Obviously. You put you throw that on the, on the VC. Throw yeah. it on the alligator. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Pete, I saw your uh, Instagram mm -hmm. pic of this. Oh, sweet. Um, awesome. Would love to see. Can't wait to see your. Uh, hopefully, you're doing a review on it soon. Um, yeah, I, I did a I did a video early on this week about uh, the 104 and the 105, and I'm still not convinced about the the 105. The, I mean, for me, uh, it's an aesthetic, stylish thing. Although I do like the 105 UTC, um, but uh, is that is that what you got there? Uh, the UTC, no white L UTC. Okay, I thought it was the 105 105, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, UTC even even better. Actually, yeah, it is the UTC because I know I know you like um, travel mm -hmm. watches, Pete. So um, that's right. Um, that's a good looking watch. That's a good looking watch. Uh, looking forward to that review. Mm -hmm. um, well, guys, we're we're over the hour mark. Um, it's Friday <laughs> night. It's getting a little late, and um, I think uh, I think we said it all. I think we said it all tonight. Anybody uh, have any last uh, parting thoughts? I might um, skip it all and just get a Garrick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I was I was I was looking at those. I've been staring at them all day. So like the Garrick day. is amazing. I think this is sometimes our group gets talking about a watch, yeah. and it's like, um, yep. yeah, and it's and we all know it's a winner. Yeah. And the first one to get it, not that it's competition, but like the first one to get that one is going to be enjoying a really awesome watch and we tend not to want to go be the second one to get a watch yeah, it <laughs> so, seems like it yeah so it's a race it's a race it's, it's between you and marcus uh one of you oh, guys man. is going to be the the, the garrick the one who gets to enjoy that amazing watch I, I, if I was not in for a Ketelars, I already would have yeah. pull, pulled it on the Garrick. Okay, really, you. really quick, really, really quick, because it's almost a dollar for dollar swap. Yep, Mill goes for the Garrick. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Like for oh. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I would. Absolutely. I would, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Rob, you, you should I, you should throw a, a picture up for the folks. I really absolutely. Mean it. If Stefan Ketelars said to me. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't do your watch. Here's your money back. <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling on the Garrick tonight. Because <laughs> on, on that Garrick website, it's it still looks like, so good. Eh? It's not like one of these things where you have to like go on WhatsApp and talk to the guy and da 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 da. Yeah, it's you just buy. It buy it now. <laughs> yeah. You know I what, though? I would want. I would want a little customization personally. So. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Thank I you, do. thank you, Thomas. I I'd pull it because Thomas. I'm afraid any minute it's just going to say sold out. Yeah, make it bigger, make it bigger, so people yeah. can see it better. Uh, okay. The Garrick watch is awesome. Yeah. I love the uh, the gold so, dial one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the frost. Let's yeah. see here. Yeah. I love the My, gold uh, dial. Um, I like. I'm. I'm really digging the blue. The blue yeah. is beautiful too. Yeah, this cool. Engine turn guilloche. All, like, all three. Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. There's three ah, kinds of Gilshe on there too. There's the outboard the ring. Yeah. And then there's the two concentric circles. Sh show the movement too. Okay. So any anyone in the chat box who hasn't seen this, um, Garrick last week or two weeks ago released this like five thousand pound. It starts at five thousand, but it's a forty two millimeter uh sixty four mm. ninety eight based uh watch that has a lot of handwork invested into it including what um bobby's showing 
on the mm. case back here with that barrel cover that's hand engraved um, yeah, so over the cool. three quarter plate. So I mean, this is it seems like a it seems like a steal, frankly, at this price. The other yeah. thing is, anytime a, a watch company that makes awesome stuff comes out with a little bit less costly than some of their other stuff and yeah. also more awesome than some of their other stuff like that combination of you can get in at a little lower price plus it's even better that's yeah. just oof. yeah yeah this is a good one i love it yeah yeah I, i'm predicting that either colin or marcus <laughs> is gonna is gonna buy that watch yeah. maybe and, and 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 if they sit too long on the decision, Joe's gonna end up getting it. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> you know, you know, if, you know, if three months these guys are still talking about it, Joe's gonna be like, oh, by the way, guys, I just bought this. Yeah. Joe, when Here, is the? When by, is the when, by the way, they're coming to my house for dinner. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when is the RGM expected, Joe? Do you know? Oh, ooh, summer, sometime in the summer. Oh, yeah. you're Probably making the spring big and moves. Yeah. No, that's Wait, it. I'm say it down. again. Say it again. Yeah. Uh, Struthers for my wife in the but spring the, and RGM in the summer. But that's a lot of big moves. Yeah, it is. You you yeah. got a power yeah. moves in the past year. I'm I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm <laughs> out. famous last words. Yeah, my uh, Sartori Biller is coming this month. Is it? I, I just yeah. got the word. Yeah. yeah so sweet. he said before the end of February, it'll be at my door. Nice, nice. Yeah. I will see it on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, um, when we had, we took six more minutes. Sorry, I'm, but I'm I had getting, to, I had to tell you. No, excited. no, no, it's okay. I'm I'm glad you brought that up because uh, you know I totally forgot about the your 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 VC uh, uh, scenario and and mm. the gar. I, mean, I totally totally forgot about the last two because it's been a long week. Um, yeah. But uh, anyway, well, okay, so yeah, and it, Joe Almond, do do you have a, any last parting things to say, or should we just wrap it up tonight? Oh, Actually, man. I'm I'm gonna say I think Mark talking watches is gonna get the Garrick before anyone. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yes. No, he's not in on this, is he? I'm just saying. That's my, now that's he my, is. That's my <laughs> guess. Yeah. No, no. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was playing. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Thanks again for joining us. Thanks to the panel. Thank you all. Have a good see evening. <laughs>